Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at how you use Kaspersky TDSS Killer. Essentially this is an anti-root kit tool. Root kits can hide in the low level of your operating system. They can hide in places that you never see it. Typically it takes advantage of vulnerabilities in your system which is why we always say make sure you're up to date on your Windows updates. Known vulnerabilities are a place that people will look to insert malware into your system. This program is a great program if you've used Super Any Spyware, uh, Malware Bytes, or IOBit, and you cannot remove or you suspect you haven't removed an infection. Um, some of these things like the uh, antivirus 2012 and the malware like that can be very, very difficult to remove. This is very quick. It's a portable utility, meaning you need no installation. You can basically download this in a minute from Major Geeks and run it in about a minute by simply hitting the Start Scan button and just waiting a few minutes for it to go through and see if it finds anything. One of the risks with this utility is depending on what's in your system you may get some false positives. In my case I had Acronis True Image installed and it came up as a root kit. I had to do some research on Google before I came back and did this second take of the video um, just to make sure I didn't look too stupid. And sure enough it was something that went with my Acronis and for most people it would have been very difficult to figure that out. Um, so just be a little careful with what you remove. You're going to want to make sure you've got a backup and a system restore set up for your computer before you remove anything just in case it's a false positive. From the utility you can change some of the parameters. You do not want to touch anything up here. You want to scan for services and drivers. You want to scan boot sectors and as you just saw it's a very fast scan. You can come back if you're not content and scan with these. I have not played with it yet but I will now and see what it does. The problem with a verified driver digital signatures is that essentially requires that somebody submits their drivers to Microsoft and gets the AOK -okay digital signature from them. Um, you, you might get more problems than that than not. I'm sure you've possibly installed drivers and seen those errors. It's, it's not a digitally signed driver. But as you can see I still come up with nothing. You can hit your details here which will give you all the information on everything that scanned any errors etc but for a more full detailed report you can click here and it'll give you all the information on what it scanned time it scanned and obviously the final results not too difficult to remove any root kits that you find if you do get one you'll come up with cure quarantine and there's a couple other options in there skip if you know it's a false positive, you can skip it. It's a nice little utility to possibly run after a malware infection is a, a last minute thing, but it's really as simple as it seems to you. Something I would say you need at least intermediate computer knowledge. You, you got to be able to be able to go into Google and look up these root kits and be confident that the information you found is accurate. Either way, it's a free utility and worth a mention as root kit removal tools go, Kaspersky TDSS Killer is probably far and away the number one choice out there right now so if this is something you're looking to do you found the right utility you can see how easy it is you can see how fast it is uh, give it a shot let us know what you think we'll see you next time